Hello, and welcome to an all-new Unbiased Gear Review. Today, we take a look at the Solar A2.6. First, let's go over the specs of this guitar. We have a mahogany body with a set-through maple neck. On that maple neck, we also have a rather grainy-looking ebony board, which is pretty cool. Reverse headstock with Grover 18-1 ratio tuners. A fixed bridge, master volume, master tone, blade switch, and a pair of Duncan Solar pickups. So this guitar is the product of a new company called Solar Guitars, which was founded by Ola England. He of his own YouTube channel. Um, many of you guys know that in the past he's been affiliated with other brands, Strictly 7 for one, and then Washburn most recently. Now he is striking out on his own brand, this being Solar Guitars. This guitar was one of the last ones that was actually still available for purchase on his website. Literally, pretty much as soon as the announcement was made that here's my company, here's my guitars, buy them, most of them sold out pretty quickly, um, so I feel like I'm kind of lucky to get my hands on this. This is the A2.6C, uh, which stands for Carbon Matte Finish. It is a really nice satin black finish that's on here. Um, this is selling direct on the website for about 600 bucks and I actually think that that's a bit of a bargain uh, when you think about the appointments the playability the tone that you get out of this but I'm gonna get more into depth with that in just a minute first of all I want to make sure this is abundantly clear this is still going to be an unbiased review Ola and I did talk about it that, you know, I wanted to get one of these. I wanted to purchase one so that I could review it on the channel. He helped me out with a minor customer service issue because of a matter with my credit card. He took care of me, helped me out, made it so that the order would go through. So thank you very much, sir. You know, hey, straight from the guy himself. That was pretty cool. But he also made it perfectly clear to me that he says... I don't want to be impartial in any way. Do your thing. I want an honest review of my guitar. I'm like, okay. Truthfully, this is an absolutely fantastic guitar. There's so much going on with this in such an understated, no bullshit package. For starters, the playability is fantastic. It has a C-shaped neck to it which is something you typically don't find on one of these super strat shredder styles so much. It's a little thicker. It's something I wasn't necessarily prepared for when I got this thing, but man, it's 
it, it just felt super comfortable in the hand right out of the box. It, 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 it's just comfortable. You know, it's not like a deep sea, like a Les Paul or anything. It's just got a good contour to it. The neck radius is just flat enough that you can do both some really great fast lead runs and some great chordal work as well. Um, you got some nice straight string pull action going on on the headstock there. The cutaways with this kind of like beveled edge to it make it really, really comfortable when you're trying to dig in and hit those higher notes on the higher frets. It, it just makes it so that you have just a little bit easier access when you're soloing. The neck is set through, so you've got a fair amount of sustain from this guitar. Um, I really like the ebony fretboard to it because as you can see, even though it is an ebony board, it's not really super dyed like a lot of other companies do. So it's not pitch black ebony. It's almost got kind of a rosewood look to it, which I think is really, really super cool. Um, the frets themselves. What's my number one complaint with most guitars? Shitty fret work. This is fine. This is absolutely fantastic. This is better than fine. I mean, this is a $600 guitar. Yeah, it's nickel fret, so don't be expecting any stainless steel goodness here. But looking at the fretwork, like, I played this thing all up and down, checked every single string on every single fret. There's no dead spots whatsoever. The fret edges themselves are rather rounded off for a guitar in this price point. Speaking of rounded off, that fretboard edge is very nicely rolled off. There again, it's comfortable. It makes this thing play all that much sweeter. And it's a nice attention to detail that you typically don't see in a guitar that costs this much, especially an imported model. This guitar is made in Indonesia. I would not be surprised if this is made in the same factory that his former Washburn signature models were made in. They definitely have a similar feel to it, kind of all around. I mean, truthfully, it, it feels so similar that I really think the major difference is just the brand, honestly. Pretty much the only thing that I, oh yeah, re recessed everything. The control cavity cover is recessed in there. The ferrules are recessed nicely. About the only thing that I have found on this entire guitar, which I will show a picture of right now, is the paint has dripped a little bit at the points. But all things considered, for that to be the one and only issue that this guitar has, that's pretty impressive. Moving on to how this guitar sounds. Not only does it play really, really awesome and it's super inspiring to play on, but man, when you plug this thing in, this thing ain't built for jazz. It's built for fucking molten metal. I mean, dude, this thing just oozes mojo so bad, and when you hear it, oh. Such good tone out of this thing. And dude, I've got this thing set up in D standard right now. This thing takes D standard like a champ. Man, it's... These pickups just have a lot of girth to them, man. I, I asked Ola when I got this thing and when I plugged it in, I was like... It sounds a lot like uh, like a Duncan Custom, and he said, you're very close. Uh, the Solar Bridge is actually a tweaked Custom 5. 
So it's got that kind of Duncan Custom character with the Al Nico 5 warmth in there. But man, it's just very, very articulate despite sounding so beefy. <laughs> Pinch harmonics just leap out of this thing. I love the neck pickup too because Ola says that it's more based off of like a tweaked Duncan 59. And the Duncan 59 to me is more of kind of a placeholder pickup. You typically find it in a lot of guitars like LTDs and stuff like that. And it's not that it's a bad sounding pickup. It's just not my favorite. It's, it's a little bit more vintage sounding, which I typically love. But it's kind of a mushy PAF style vintage. This, however, is just a little bit more glassy, a little bit more open. Um, it's almost like a nice halfway point between a 59 and an Air Norton, which is really, really cool. just so good it's got a nice warm characteristic to it it's super articulate like i said it's kind of glassy and open sounding man this is just a really well matched set of pickups you know especially for the kind of stuff i like to do if, if you're into like just brutal heavy metal this is a fucking great set of pickups man compliments the guitar super nice the mahogany body the maple neck the ebony board, you know, it, it's warm, yet still has that top end brightness to it. This is just a fantastic sounding instrument. Dude, I promised you an honest review and this is it. This is a fucking great guitar for the money, especially. I mean, it is what it is. It's an imported instrument. It's about 600 bucks, but it's honestly like one of the best instruments I've played in that price point in as long as I can remember. I mean, just so many great features to it. The pickups sound fantastic. The bridge is nice, low profile. You've got a lot of great sustain from this guitar. The quality control is really, really on it for an instrument in this price point. I mean, I was telling him the other day, like I said, Ola, man, I'm typically one who buys these guitars for use in the video and then I just get rid of them right away. I'm actually giving serious thought to keeping this. So we'll, we'll see how long that feeling lasts because, I mean, you know me, I like to go through instruments a lot, but damn, if I'm just not super, super inspired to play this thing. I mean, it's literally one of those guitars that you get and you're like, well, fuck, now I got to write a whole album with this thing. It's literally like the riffs are just flowing out of me on this. Like, I already recorded one of these uh, demo songs, like the one you heard earlier in the video, and I decided to scrap it because I came up with the one you actually heard at the beginning that I liked a lot better. I mean, I'm just, I've been writing constantly ever since I received this thing. It's a fantastic instrument for that. It, it really just makes me want to play it. I mean... You know, at the end of the day, isn't that what you really want? Regardless of how much you spent on the guitar, you want to be inspired by it. And, I mean, this thing is so inspiring. I mean, you could probably mod this thing like crazy, but 
fuck, dude, I don't want to. Like, if anything, I might swap out, like, for some locking tuners or something, but that's kind of it. Otherwise, man, I just, I dig this thing the way it is. It plays great. It sounds great. It's built great. I mean, this is just really, really fantastic. So a special guitar deserves a very special brew. I am so happy I got my hands on this. This is the 2017 edition of Goose Island Bourbon County, which is their barrel-aged stout that's often regarded as one of the best barrel-aged stouts in the world. I already pulled it, poured a little bit here because uh, I tried shooting this bit already. Um, it's a blackish-brown color with a slight tan head. Very boozy aroma. Mm. Has notes of candy, vanilla, a little bit of coconut. Uh, definitely a strong alcohol and bourbon taste to it, which is very, very good. Um, a little bit of uh, char in there, very woody flavor to it as well. It's, it's overall very complex, and even though it's super boozy, it's still kind of smooth. Like, even though it's so boozy, I could honestly drink this all the time. It is really good. So thank you so much for tuning in. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, many more videos to come. If you dig this guitar, link is in the description. If you dig the band that's on my shirt, link is in the description. And if you dig the drink I had, oh, that beautiful beer. The link is also in the description as well. Take it easy. We'll see you in the next video.